Okay, okay, okay. It's nice to meet you all. Okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> Ian, good to see you again. Okay, what should I do now? Okay. Yes. Okay, it's nice to meet you all and uh, let us have a fun and meaningful time together today. Oh, hold on. Can you hear me? All right. So I, hi, it's a Siwon Choi and how is everyone doing? It's nice to meet you all and let us have a fun and meaningful time together today. Thank you. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Hello, Amelia. I cannot hear. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Hello, hi. No, my honor. Uh, yes, of course. And with the way social media is today and how divided our society is becoming, well, everyone will have experienced some form of bullying or hatred. It doesn't matter whether it's about politics or human rights or even music part. People seem to be fighting and arguing more than ever. I mean, it's too much anger and they cannot solve it. And of course, as an artist, um, as an artist and performer and celebrities, and the level of bullying and abuse can be quite extreme especially on social media. Um, and people always make my gosh you. And from the wrong, that true, wrong, true and information. Always talking about my, myself or my family. So many people think that cyberbullying is not as bad as physical bullying, but it can actually be worse. And because it follows you everywhere and every moment, and it never stops. It can go on. It can go on twenty twenty four seven. Never stop. The best way to deal with uh, all this hate and bullying is by showing kindness and empathy. It's like like Martin Luther King Jr. once said: "Darkness cannot drive out darkness. So only light can." So remember. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can. So choose to so choose to love and be kind. Work together to create a new culture of kindness and empathy. To those who have experienced bullying and hatred, remember that you're not alone. We are all one family now. In Christ, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Christian because in my personal opinion, so please understand. So as kindness leaders, and we will work together to drive, drive out hate with love. Yes. Thank you, Ian. Yes, kind of long. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. We're 
Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay. I mean, the self-care is very important. Before you be kind to others, make sure you are first kind to yourself. So before um, you empathize with others and understand how they feel, and first learn, learn to understand your own emotions. So we will learn some self-care, and tip, self-care tips and exercises. And through the kindness and leaders, program um, so make make sure make sure you sign up and take part after this conference and for example to myself I mean myself always like spend time with my family first and do my hobby I mean wash my dishes and clean my room or exercise and work out yeah and practicing kindness and empathy in a world that is so used to darkness and hate can be very difficult. And that's why we need all of you, our kindness leaders, to create a new culture of kindness and empathy throughout Southeast Asia and the rest, and the rest of the world. It will take a time and it won't be easy. But that's the long-term solution to many of the biggest problems in the world today. And many people will say that the real world is not about kindness, but that is the old world. So you young people, uh, including me, yeah, you young people can create your own, your own world, your own future, and it can be on where everyone prefers kindness and has the empathy skills to understand and appreciate, appreciate each other. As leaders, remember that kindness and empathy is not weakness. It takes a lot of strength and courage to be kind, to empathize with other people and understand how they feel. And leaders, can be kind and empathetic, but still be strong, firm, and decisive. The only difference is that you are acting firmly out of good intentions. That's what I think. Yes. Is it, is it okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I would like to say, you guys are amazing. How can you guys make you know, this in a conference now? Wow, that's very touchful. And then I really would like to thank um, I would like to thank UNICEF Regional Office and Malaysia, especially June. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, all UNICEF offices for this conference. And then and our company, SM company, Grace and JJ and Mr. White. Thank you so much. Well, this past year was not easy for us. But as much as we had some very hopeful for meaningful conversation today. I do hope only a bright future awaits us. I hope to meet you again very soon. Stay healthy. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right, sure. Please, please. Let's do it. Okay, Mr. Mr. White sent me some script. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, why should I do that? Just smiling. Oh.
Okay. Okay, here. Because I'm, I'm just going to turn on my Instagram live channel too. So, like this. Okay, cool. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.